So welcome back. My name is Paul. This is the second in my series about our companion star series and the dual star system that we're in. And what I'm really talking about is cosmic esoteric astronomy, you might say. Cosmic cosmology, you might say. Esoteric cosmology. Because, as I recommended some books in the previous segment, there are very, very ancient traditions about our being very, very much influenced by a number of other star systems, in particular the Pleiades, the Great Bear, and Sirius. And we're in the year 2011 right now. It's August uh, 16th, and we're going very, very fast toward 2012. And a lot, a lot of talk about that. And what I'm suggesting here is probably thought of by many other people, but I'd like to try to explain my own particular outlook on it, is that we're actually going to experience a cosmic initiation. What happens is, individually, there's a, there's a story in a great myth called the Great Hero, and the Great Hero is symbolic of a sun or a, a, a universe or an individual, and there's a journey of creation, a journey of consciousness, and so on that goes on. And it's all cyclical. It has to do with cyclic motion and the movement of energy. And the way we have consciousness, the way everything works, the reason we can have brains and memories and dreams and psychic experiences and all kinds of phenomena and science and all that stuff, there's, a, there's some mechanism that makes it all work. God has a mechanism, and it's, it has to do with the stars, with the, with the cosmic energy, with a uh, dog, because that's what's out there, you know, that's where we're in, we're in a soup of this cosmic energy. And what I'm getting here is that in the very near future, all the talk about Nimburu and all the talk about the comets, I really believe that we're getting very, very close to the threshold. A, an initiation is an alignment, a, a magnetic alignment. Our Earth turns back and back in retrogression in retrograde motion uh, with precession and the sun is going around and, sun, and it, at some point it's, it's expressed in esoteric literature as an initiation, it's an alignment, it's an increase of light, it's a flow of energy, it's a cosmic exchange of beams that function, there's a function here and the sun and Sirius get just close enough and then they start to speed up and speed up and speed up and speed up. And I believe the Mayan calendar and all the ancient old, old calendars like the Hindus were talking about incredible cosmology, just incredible stuff. That actually, in fact, not only does this, our sun go in a very big round about here, then we have Sirius has a sun, another star that goes around it. Uh, you know, white dwarf star that's a collapsed but incredibly powerful star, and that goes around that about 59, 50 years, every 50 years. And so, what we have here is systems after systems and interplaying systems that do this chakra motion. This is the cosmos, this is the spiral eternal motion. Spirals make energy, they, they're generators. The planets are generators, the suns are generators of intense cosmic rays and beams. And I really believe that our Earth is going to shift the magnetic pole for sure, and there's a very good chance that it's going to shift, at some point, it's going to shift the physical pole, depending on how the magnetic field is all set up. It all depends on some various factors, and I don't know enough to say anything definite. But as Sirius comes closer to us, and don't forget, Sirius has all this other kind of stuff around it, too. I mean, we have comets way, way out there. We have some comets that come in now thousands of years. They go out and back. And, man, if this is like thousands of years, then what do you think Sirius is? Sirius is so much bigger. It's got a lot of stuff going on around it. And the talk of Nibiru, I believe, there's, there's a number of things that could happen. One is we're going across the galactic equator, and that by itself is bringing more energy. But when we also have, in addition, Sirius getting closer, and all the stuff that's around Sirius is starting to interact at certain points. Now, there's all these proportions that the ancients told us about in this big cycle. This is a very important place. This is a very important place. These places are very important. So all these different points, maybe they're like every 5,000 years, or there's certain geometry and physics involved in the spin. 
that has to do with shifting things. And it all is this cosmic flower and folding and folding like the petals of a lotus. It's a cosmic lotus. Our sun is like the center of a flower. And around that flower, these unfolding, circling things that are electric in nature and mechanical and they're cosmic. They're just spinning around doing all these things. And then there's huge dances going on. But we want to shift. It may be a catastrophe for all stuff, but I mean, if it's bad and it collapses, it could be something new, you know, just like concrete. After a while, you know, if you want to just, just let it be and the plants will go through, you know. So I really think that we're going to literally encounter vast changes on the physical earth and in the climate and the heat that's in our system and the electric stuff. But in addition, there's a bathing light from Sirius and other suns that we have very positive, like Sirius has a very, very positive beam. And there's the Pleiades, and there's all kinds of other positive influences, so it's, it's an adjustment. You know, some people, they go to a chiropractor, it may sound funny, but if you have, think about, well, something's out of alignment, and then all of a sudden, you know, you have to apply some, you know, some force there or something, a little bit of pressure, and then boom, and you're back in shape, you know. And if the earth has been out of whack, I mean, I there's a chance, and I don't know what this legend is, is true or not, but... They used to have 360 days. And it's literally possible for the Earth to have changed its orbit in such a way or changed its spin. Over the past 12,000 years, it could have shifted, it could have changed its spin, it could have had longer days, and they had to recalculate everything. And if they said, okay, well, now our calendar's all off and screwed, you know, the weather's all changed, now we've got to recalculate. And I think that's what a lot of the people did back then. You know, 12,000 years ago, they had to totally recalculate, okay, well, when is the next, now the cycle is this, okay, and that's been well established for a long time now. So now we're in a very, there's certain things that happen, and it's about math and geometry and the movement of energy, electrical pulses and forces that make the system work. Now, I really think that as far as preparation, I mean, I'm serious. I think in the next one and a half years, it's going to be more and more obvious. And if I write in my prognostication here that in the next decade or two, things are really going to shift, because I, th I can see how the Earth could actually completely shift. It could end up shifting for the better in some strange way. It could be shifting a little bit at a time. Um, maybe the magnetic field will shift first. Crack. Okay, well, that's shift. Okay, maybe it'll get into more harmonious nature. Now, if we're having a horrible, if we live in a horrible magnetic spin, like we do, people live in cities and all those electrical waves going on and horrible stuff, and people live in that, and if that were to crack open like an egg, and then, then the balance of the natures and Earth's natural Earth gets a cosmic adjustment and say, ah, okay, you know, now Earth can read a little bit here. That's what it feels like. I think that's going to happen. And if we all go along with the Earth and we go along with the Sun and we go along with the cosmos and we try to go along with this big adjustment, I think a lot of people are going to come out just fine, honestly. But I thought I'd put my two cents in here. That's the second of the series. I may make some more. We have cosmic hints from the past. Many, 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 many of them, they're coming out on TV, and thank you for all the people that have inspired me to get up and put my two cents in here, because we're all in this together here, and here we go, and today's August 16th, and I think the next few months especially is going to be very, very interesting, so...